So, I'm back from New York, um, hence the delay in the review. Um, don't really know how to start this one. I don't have any words for what happened last night. I am genuinely shocked, and I don't think we've ever seen this in... I don't even know what to say. Zara's gone, and I'm mad. I'm actually fuming. Hey guys, it's Morag Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back at again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Let's get straight into this video. So I am absolutely shocked by the fact that Zara has left the villa. I'm very bemused by what has taken place and I don't understand it. Um, this makes no sense to me and is genuinely one of the biggest mistakes Love Island has ever made in Love Island history. I have never seen something like this where you have such a main arc to this show. Somebody who has brought so many storylines, entertainment and ratings. Somebody who is not afraid to be dramatic and get involved with arguments or get storylines going, whether it be with her and Olivia, whether it be her with Tom or, you know, going around and letting know about the secret kisses on the terrace and stuff like that. For somebody to, for the people, for the producers to dump her is absolutely wild. And for the person to dump her to be Tom is even more wilder. Like, I had no idea. Listen, when Mora and Anna were in the bottom two, one of the two biggest characters from this season who brought so much drama and they were about to get dumped, the producers saved them with two guys waiting in the wings. So why couldn't they had perhaps Jordan or Casey waiting for Zara? And then Zara could have walked in with them and the girls and the boys would have then, what should have happened is that they should have thought that Zara was gone from the villa. Zara leaves the villa and then gets a text saying, two boys are waiting for you. She then goes on a date with both of them and then walks back in with them. So everybody is shocked thinking that two new boys are coming in, but now Zara is actually walking in as well. That is what should have happened. That is what should have happened to give people the shock factor so that we would be looking forward to the next episode with the shock factor. That, I don't understand why she has left the villa. Like, I'm so angry that I can't even be angry. You know them ones where you're just so angry or deep in the violation? It doesn't make any sense and I'm genuinely shocked. I didn't think that she would have gone. I thought the producer would have kept her in. Um, the biggest ratings that, um, this season has had has been the night that Zara went off on top. So, which wasn't even that huge, but for this season, it's big, which shows to you that she is raiding gold's mind. She was meant to be somebody who was going to be in that season forever till the end. And she was meant to be somebody who was meant to be a legend. So I'm so confused as to why her journey was cut short because somebody like Mora has been rewarded continuously whilst in the season. Whereas somebody like Zara, who's giving that same kind of, you know, flavor in my opinion, because what she was doing with Tom is what kind of what Mora was doing with Tom as well. So why has she now been dumped from the villa? I don't understand. Like, I just find it to be so confusing that producers would do this already on a winter edition where the ratings are not as high and the engagement is low. Why would you then remove her? It doesn't make any sense. I'm so confused by it. It just makes me so angry. Such a waste of an, of an opportunity for somebody who could have been an absolute legend on the show already had made viral moments by calling him Community EP. Like that in itself was just like, you want people like that on a show like Love Island, especially in the winter edition. So I'm just very disappointed. I'm just shocked by it. And I honestly did not expect it that she's gone because she was my favorite in the villa. She was my favorite in the villa. She was somebody who I was supporting from day she got in there. I thought, okay, cool, this guy is doing it. And it's just sad that it just never took place. The new boys, Jordan and Casey, have arrived. And of course, you know, they're there to do what they need to do. And they've picked Tarniel and they've picked um, Lana. And I feel like with Casey, like, you know, with Jordan, you know, the, the bombshell is bombshelling. But, you know, Casey, Casey's present. Let's just say that. Um, and... Child, I'm over the season, man. I'm so, sorry. I'm so annoyed that they did that with Zara. Like, what, what do I look... What do I want to watch now? Like, I'm just bored. Like, what do you want to watch when it comes to the next couple of episodes? I don't understand. Why would you do that? Why, why? Like, it just doesn't... I'm so confused as to why it, like... It doesn't make no sense. It just doesn't make any sense. I'm glad that Shaq had to let Ron know about himself. I'm so glad. He's the only guy out of all of these guys 
who has the emotional intelligence to let the other guys know that you're messing up the game for yourself and you're being disrespectful to Lana. And that is basically what Ron is doing. He's using Lana as a safety net because he knows that she's into her she's into him a lot more and that she won't sway so you can test his options and she's not going to sit there like an idiot and take that. With Shaq dropping the L-bomb to Tanya, I do think it is too soon. However, I feel like Shaq has shown so much emotional intelligence by defending the girls, being direct with the boys, whether it be Harris or whether it be Will, not Will, sorry, um, or Ron, that, you know, I feel like he has the emotional intelligence to be truthful in what he's saying to Tanya. And I feel like, you know, that he probably does love it at this point. Even though it's early days, I feel like his behavior backs him up, if that makes sense. So the strongest couples in the villa are Tanya and Shaq and Jesse and Will. So I expect to see these two couples definitely in the finale because these two are the only ones who are genuinely solid at the moment. Kai, I feel like he's playing games. I don't feel like him and Sammy are really gonna do anything to be honest with you. Like I just don't really see it going anywhere. Neither do I see Tom and Ellie really going anywhere either. I feel like, you know, Ellie will be swifted by some man and then Tom will be vulnerable. So Tanya, is my favorite. I feel like I love Tanya on the show. I feel like, you know, she is just funny. When she dragged Aaron, that was everything for me. Everything for me, man. And I just feel like it just needed to happen. So we'll see if she pairs up with Jordan and just sees what happens. But I'm just so disappointed that they have allowed a bombshell legend in the making to be dumped from the island so soon. It doesn't make any sense. And for the girls to be saying, oh, you know, bring them back for Casa Amor. When an islander has been dumped, who has had so much potential in the show to be so huge, bringing them back in Casa Amor limits that, in my opinion. I don't think it needs, it will, it will do anything. I don't think we need to see them back in Casa Amor. Once they've been dumped, they've been dumped. I don't see, like, I would want Zara to not be dumped, but for her to return in Casa Amor, in my eyes, doesn't make any sense. Like, I just don't see that working in any way because it would, wouldn't make sense for you to be dumping in the first place to bring her back. Like, you're just cutting some, somebody's journey short. I don't know, it just sounds dumb to me about the idea of bringing Islanders back in Casa Amor. I just feel like it's very unfair that she's gone and hopefully she does something with her career um, because she deserves some kind of spin-off, in my opinion, or something because I feel like she just had so much potential and it was dropped just like that in in a matter of seconds and they should have saved her because if they could save Mora and Anna why couldn't they have saved Zara I don't know she was a gold mine to the producers yeah she did what she needed to do but she could have done a lot more and then to have Tom dump her as well it's just the icing on the cake I'm I'm I, I, I I'm genuinely confused by what happened last night. So I don't understand. My review was late because I was flying back to London, so my apologies, I'm very tired. But reviews will now be coming out more on a timely fashion, not a couple hours before the next morning or next day. So I do apologize for that. Um but I am genuinely like I don't know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm pissed off man. I'm really irritated that they have done this because I don't understand why they would dump her. Like, what is the purpose? It is the biggest mistake Love Island has made in Love Island history. This is the biggest mistake that they have made to dump somebody like her. It does not make any sense. They are ruining and killing their own show. They've already ruined it anyways with the excessiveness of Love Island. But for the fact that they've done this, you just watch and see how ratings are going to plummet even more. They went so low as 800,000 people watching it, it's going to go even lower now that you've dumped a star in the making, somebody who's going to be a legend, somebody who's going to be that, like I'm so frustrated because I really wanted to just stand this girl and see what else she would do. I, with that, I was looking forward to, what is Zara gonna be doing next? That's what everyone's talking about when it comes to this version. Like that name was on people's lips because they're just thinking of her. So nobody's thinking of Olivia, Tom, Spencer, you like, who are these? Like, it's giving, it's giving um, Love Island 2021, season seven. Where I'm just getting lost in all these bombshells now and I don't know who's who. Like, it, 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 it's giving chunks. That's what it's given now at this point. And I'm getting tired of that, man. Like, tired. How are you keeping us prison watching the show and you're dumping the best contestants and this is what you're bringing? I 
I'm over it. Let me know your thoughts are, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.